Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is the uh, next Disney characters look. Um, I've chosen to do Flounder. Um, he's the fish in Ariel. He's her companion friend. And um, so I just basically took the colors from his um, skin and colors that he is. And he's just a really colorful blue and uh, yellow fish. And so here you go. Here's an up close um, look at it. And I just did a really nice pink corally looking lip. And yeah, so if you want to see how I did this, just keep on watching. First thing I did was prime my lid. And I used a paint pot by MAC called Soft Ogre. All over from lash line to brow bone. Then on the outer corner and the crease, I used a Maybelline color tattoo. Uh, the turquoise one, and then I used a uh, white base, it looks a little yellowy here, but it's because I had yellow on the brush, from NYX, it's called the Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. Next thing I did was I took a uh, eyeshadow from MAC called Fresh Water, and I took that on a crease brush, this is a synthetic uh, dual fiber crease brush, and I just placed that into my crease. And I blended, and I blended it up quite far. Um, however, this shadow is not very pigmented. Um, I do like the, the color that it has. Um, if I was to do this again, I probably would, would use Electric Eel from MAC. Um, this color, you just have to build up quite a bit. I think I did about three or four layers. I then took a flat shader brush. On one side, I have yellow, and on the other side, I have a blue. And I just took that same fresh water um, eyeshadow from MAC and I did the same thing. I just built it up on the outer corner and it took me about four or five layers before it got to be the pigmentation that I really, really wanted it to be. Next, I took that same crease brush, or um, shader brush, I'm sorry, and flipped it over to the yellow side and used Sugar Pills Butter Cupcake. It's just a nice true yellow and I am just going to pat that onto that white base. That white base is going to make sure that this gives it its color payoff that it deserves. And then what you're going to do after you do that is you're just going to blend those two colors together with gentle sweeping back and forth motions. Next thing I did was take an aqua eyeliner. This is from um, Mulani. This is her Liquify Eye in Aqua. And I place that just under my um, bottom lashes. This is just going to allow that fresh water shadow to adhere properly to the um, water um, to the lower lash line. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pushing that uh, fresh water uh, eyeshadow right onto that Milani Liquify Eye and just kind of making it seamless and connect to the top uh, lash line. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using doing the same exact thing with the Butter Cupcake, except I'm going to put that uh, connecting it from the top lash line to the bottom lash line just on that inner corner of the eye. So basically what I did off camera was I just did winged liner um, with a black liquid liner and uh, a MAC 210 brush. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same Aqua Liquify Eye from Milani and I'm just going to place that onto my waterline. Please be careful not to tug as hard as I do and please don't stab yourself in the eye because it can be harmful and it can hurt very much. Um, you can't really see this off camera but you really don't need to. You just take the liner and line your line. The next thing I did was I take a um, black mascara. This is the Revlon uh, Lash Potion. This is actually one of my favorite mascaras. It does really good with voluming and coating all your lashes and making sure that you can't see any of the fallout or the pigment or any of that kind of stuff on your lashes. Next I took the Anastasia Brow Highlighter. This is the matte side. And I just put a couple of little lines up under my brow. And basically what I'm going to do now is that's going to be used to adhere a pigment that you'll see sh uh, with a flat shader brush and it's called MAC um, Silver Dusk and it's a really shimmery powder. This is a really good powder. I really love it so far and I'm just going to place that on top of those that base that we put down and blend into the rest of the face. Next, I'm going to be taking a uh, blush from, or sculpting powder, excuse me, 
from uh, MAC. It's that brown one up in the top uh, left-hand corner, and I'm just going to be using that as my contour with a um, MAC dual fiber brush. This is a short one, and I'm just going to be doing that in the hollows of my cheeks. You can't really see this. I'm so sorry, but just find the hollows of your cheeks and push in with your brush, and there you go, and swipe it all the way um, from your hairline down. Next, I'm going to be taking another blush from MAC. This is a pink. It's like a cool pink tone. I'm sorry, I don't remember the um, name of it off the top of my head. But it's a really, really pretty light pink. Any light pink um, cool tone blush will work. I'm just placing that above the, the contour. And next, I'm going to take that Silver Dusk as my highlight. And I'm going to place that right on um, above the blush. And this will give me a really nice dewy glow. It will make me look like I am from under the ocean. Just like flounder. Next I'm going to go onto the lips and I'm taking Max Prep and Prime Lip. This is going to just be a nice setting gloss for our lip color that we'll be doing. Next, I'm going to be taking a new lipstick that I just got called Cream Cream Cup, and it's just a nice nudie pink color. It's more close to the color of my lips, and I'm just going to put that on like regular lipstick. Next, I'm going to be taking a lip gloss from Rimmel London called Show Off Lip Lacquer, and this is in the color 201 Solstice. This is one of their new um, lip glosses, and I absolutely love them. They're so, so good and smooth, and I... Love them. Okay, guys, here's my finished flounder look. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, yes, it's very oceany. Um, I love the colors. It's very bright and colorful. Um, my next look should be Alice in Wonderland uh, for the Disney series. Um, these are just in weeks um, and no particular order and all that good stuff. So if you like what I did, please don't hesitate to rate and comment and subscribe. It really does help me. And um, let me know what you think. All the products will be listed below in the description, bro description box. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.